In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the state machine diagram for the topic ATM management system. So before watching this video, please do watch the video in which I have explained about the various symbols that are required in drawing the state machine diagram. I have attached the link of that video in the description box. So please do watch that video. Then continue with this for better understanding. And I have also made a video on state machine diagram of shopping, online shopping system. I have attached the link of that video also in the de description box. If required, you can watch that video too. Okay, now let's get into this video. So, ATM management system. So, the first step in drawing the state machine diagram is you need to put a circle and you need to bubble inside the circle. This is known as start symbol. So, always the first thing in a diagram of state machine should be the start symbol. After that, you need to put a downward arrow. Next, I'm going to draw the state symbol which is a rectangle and it has rounded circle corner. The corners alone should be rounded. So this is the symbol of a state. So inside this I need to write the name of the state. And that should be understandable to everyone who is looking into this diagram. So reading the card. This is the name of the state which I am giving. So reading the card. Now, if you go to ATM, the first step is you need to insert the card in the machine. So, it will read the card. ATM machine will read the card. So, this is the state of the card now. Next, I need to put a downward arrow and write the next state which is reading pin. This is the next state. So, this is one state. Reading card is one state. Reading pin is another state. So, can it directly move from one state to another state without an event happening? No. An event should happen. Only when an event happens, the state can change from reading card to reading pin. So, where will you write the event which is happening? That you have to write Near this arrow, on top of this arrow, you need to write. This arrow is nothing but transition. Transition means change in the state from reading card to reading pin. So, here I need to write, card has been read successfully. So, card read successfully. So, card read successfully is the event. So, only when the card has been read successfully, the state will change from reading the card to reading the pin. Only if the card has been read successfully, you will be allowed to enter the pin and it will read the pin. It will check whether the pin which you have entered is correct or not. Now, for example, while reading the card, the card has not been read successfully. That is invalid card means directly it will come to the state of ejecting the card, removing the card. So, this is one state. So, here what event is happening? Invalid card event is happening. After removing the card, what is the next step? Automatically, this full process will end here itself. So, you need to draw the Stop symbol which is a circle. Inside you need to draw a smaller circle and color the smaller circle which you have drawn inside alone. So here itself the process will end. So while reading the card is one state, event is happening which is the card is not read successfully. That means invalid card has been inserted. Then from reading card state it will change to ejecting the card state. Ejecting card means removing the card. So, once you are removing the card, there is no, there is nothing to do there in the ATM because your card is invalid. So, the process will end there itself. For example, 
from state of reading card to state of reading pin it is moving on means the event card read successfully has happened that is why from reading card to reading pin it has transition has happened that is why i am putting this arrow next now it is reading the pin it is checking whether the pin entered is correct or not if the pin number va valid if pin number is valid this event is happening then choosing the transaction step it will come to this state from reading pin state it will come to choosing transaction state when pin number valid event takes place only when the pin number which you have entered is correct it will move to another state from this state it will move to this state which is to choosing transaction now for example pin number is not valid it is invalid means directly it will move to ejecting card state invalid pin so this is the event invalid pin is the event means from reading pin state it will move to the next state it will get changed to another state which is ejecting the card once you are removing the card the process ends there itself so if the pin number which you have entered is correct only then the state will change from reading pin to choosing transaction if the pin which you have entered is not valid is not correct then it will change from the state reading pin to ejecting card and the process will end there itself next choosing transaction there are various transaction options you can withdraw the money or you can deposit or you can check the balance like balance inquiries you can do so there are various transaction options available so choosing transaction now i don't want to choose any transaction means what will happen directly i can eject the card so what event is happening cancel transaction this event is happening cancel transaction event when cancel transaction event happens from choosing transaction state it moves to ejecting card state and the process will end there itself so cancel transaction i'm not willing to choose any of the transaction options so when this event happens directly it will change from the state of choosing transaction to ejecting the card and the process ends there itself next from choosing transaction state it is changing to another state which is performing transaction performing transaction means i have chosen one of the transaction options so that is being performed now withdraw money means that operation is being performed deposit means that option has been performed i want to check the balance means that option is being performed so from choosing transaction state it is changing to performing transaction state when the event transaction chosen is happening when the event transaction chosen is happening only then the state will change from choosing transaction to performing transaction so after performing transaction the next step is from performing transaction state it will go to ejecting state because of the event which has happened which is finished transaction after finishing the transaction the state will change from performing transaction to ejecting the card and the process will end there itself now after performing transaction i want to choose another transaction i want to perform another transaction then it will change from the state performing transaction to choosing transaction from performing transaction state it will move to choosing transaction state because this event is happening which is another transaction event is happening so when another transaction event happens the state will change from performing transaction to choosing transaction so in this way you need to draw the 
state machine diagram for ATM management system. So this is the final diagram. So the first step is you need to draw the start symbol which is a circle and you need to bubble it inside. Next you need to put a downward arrow and you need to write the state name inside the symbol rectangle which has rounded corners reading the card. So once you enter into the ATM, the first step is you need to insert the card and it will read whether the card is valid one or not. If the card has been read successfully, so only when the card has been read successfully, next step it will move on to which is reading the pin. So if the card is invalid, if the event of card is invalid takes place, then the state will change from reading card to ejecting card which is removing the card and exiting from this full entire process this is the stop symbol which is a circle and inside you need to draw a circle and bubble the inside circle alone now if the card has been read successfully if this event is happening then from the state reading card it will move to reading pin state so from reading card state, it has moved to reading pin state because the event card read successfully has taken place. Reading pin is also a state, so I'm writing it inside a rectangle box which has rounded corners. Next, from reading pin state is, now I have entered the pin and it is reading. It is reading whether the pin number which I have entered is correct or not, valid or not. If the pin number which is entered is valid, if this event is happening then it changes from the state reading pin to choosing transaction state. If the pin which I have entered is invalid, if invalid pin event is happening, then the state will change from reading pin to ejecting the card. So I have to remove the card and exit from the process. Next, choosing transaction state. From choosing uh, transaction state, it changes to performing transaction state when the event transaction chosen happens. So there are so many transaction options. So if I choose any one of the options, if that event is happening, then the state will change from choosing transaction to performing transaction. It will change from the state choosing transaction to ejecting card if the event happening is cancel transaction. I don't want to choose any of the transaction options. I want to cancel. If that is the event that is happening, then... The state will change from choosing transaction to ejecting card and the process will end there. Next, it will change from the state performing transaction to ejecting card if the event finished transaction takes place. I have chosen one of the transaction options. For example, I have chosen withdraw. So that operation is happening. So if that is performed, if that transaction is finished, then it will change from the state performing transaction to ejecting card and the process will end there. Next, the state will change from performing transaction to choosing transaction if the event another transaction happens. Now I have done withdraw. I want to check the balance. I want to select another transaction option. Then it will change from the state performing transaction to choosing transaction when this event another transaction happens. So in this way, this entire process happens. So I hope you have understood this state machine diagram of ATM management system. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment sections. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.